I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! Welcome back to the Rune and Stimpy recap. As promised, we are doing a tier list for Season 1, ranking every episode. We are going to be placing all these episodes between S tier and F tier. And with these hands, I hope the fate of millions. So, we're gonna start off with The Littlest Giants. This episode was the big disappointment of season 1 for me. It was on the lower half of season 1 in my head before rewatching, but coming back to it, I was just not pleased at all with it. As I said in my retrospective, the second half is strong, but the first half is just the most boring stuff I have seen in Ren and Stimpy so far, during this rewatch. I was actually debating whether to place this in E or D tier, but I think the farm stuff with Wee Ren is strong enough to carry it to a D tier. Next we're gonna do Nurse Stimpy. Now this was the episode I thought of as the worst before going into this rewatch. It is definitely still one of the weakest ones, but it's not the worst. I think Nurse Stimpy has some really weak stuff, but also some really strong stuff. I dislike the slow pacing and the bath stuff, but I really enjoy the darker scenes with Stimpy and the whole montage is great. It's going in C tier. Let's do Stimpy's Big Day next. The first episode of season 1 and the first episode of the Ren and Stimpy mini movie. While a good episode and a great start to the movie arc, it's not as good as most of what comes after it. The movie star plotline was played a bit better in the next episode, and with most of this episode being just set up for the big shot, it's just a bit weaker. I'd say B tier. Now we have Fire Dogs. I think Fire Dogs is probably the best episode in season 1 when it just comes to random craziness. It has hard competition in such a strong season though. While there is a lot of fun in this episode, it's not much beyond that. Ren and Stimpy can go so far with story and themes, that an episode with not much of a story and not much in terms of themes, it's not really fair. I like Fire Dogs for what it is, and it is one of the funniest season 1 episodes, but there's just stuff I value as much, if not more, that isn't quite here. Fire Dogs is going in the B tier. We are gonna move... Uh, I don't know... Okay, like that. And let's do Robin Hoek next. The better storybook episode of season 1, while not one of the best of the season, it's still strong. The storybook episodes will always fall a bit short next to the other story-heavy episodes as these storybook episodes are mostly just simple story parodies. But when done right, they are just a lot of fun, and seeing Ren and Stimpy in this fantasy setting is exactly that. Whereas Fire Dogs had the comedy, Robin Hoek has the comedy, and some more. Robin Hoek is going in B tier, but above the other two. Now we have the big shots. The Big Shot takes everything that Stimpy's Big Day set up and paid it off perfectly. The movie stuff is done better here, which makes sense since this episode actually has a time for it. Stimpy's Big Day spent most of its time on splitting the two up, while The Big Shot uses most of its run with the two apart, and just a minute at the end where the two reunite. And it's still super effective. This episode is very funny and has heart. It's gonna be going in B tier as well, but at the top. Now we have The Boy Who Cried Rats. This is probably the funniest season 1 episode, and that is what takes it this high up. The Tom and Jerry homage is spot on, and the whole episode kind of feels like a slightly better version of Fire Dogs if you ask me. This is going in the top of B tier. Now we have Untamed World. Untamed World is great. I think the fast moving story with the nature segment switches makes it a really entertaining watch as you really never spend too much time on one animal. My favorite is the Crocostimpy just for how bizarre it is, but 
All of them are great in their own right. Untamed World is gonna be the first episode in the A tier. Now we have Marooned. While the weakest of the free space episodes, Marooned is still pretty fantastic. The whole plotline of them being Marooned is really entertaining and I found a lot of enjoyment in the two shenanigans in the shenanigans the two got into at this foreign planet. Marooned is gonna be going in A tier above uh, Untamed World. Now we have Black Hole. These last three episodes were so hard to decide on, but I think I'll put Black Hole in third place. It is a really great episode, but I just enjoyed the top two a little bit more. Black Hole has some of my favorite visuals in season one, and the whole episode is a joy to look at. I also love the ending, but plot-wise, I think the top two are stronger and also have other qualities that Black Hole, for as great as it is, just can't quite compete with. Still love the episode though, and it's very close, but Black Hole is going to go at the top of A tier. Now, we have Stimpy's Invention. Now this is the only non-themed episode in the top 5, and I don't think anyone would disagree with this. Stimpy's invention is so crazy and out there that you just can't help but love it. They really push what you can show on children's television to the extreme here, and it turned out so great. This is to my knowledge the episode that took the longest time to make, and it shows. The animation is fantastic and deranged in just the right way. It is for sure going in the S tier. One of the greatest cartoon episodes of all time. And now we have the last episode. Space Madness. In my opinion, no other season 1 episode can be put up there with Space Madness when it comes to storytelling. Ren going insane is one of the best things about the whole show, and this episode has the best portrayal of it so far if you ask me. Now Stimpy's Invention also had that, but when it comes to vibe and story, I think Space Madness gets the upper hand. The going mad in space plot is done to perfection. Everything from the introductory Space Madness monologue by Ren, to the bath scene, to Ren totally snapping, and then the world deletion ending. This whole episode is perfect in my opinion. Space Madness is going at the top of S tier. Actually, I am still not sure. I want to put Black Hole in S tier, but oof. yeah, it could go in S tier to be honest. I'm gonna keep it in A tier for now, but it might change in the future. So that's my list. I'd love to hear your guys' versions down in the comments, and I think we'll keep the both the season analysis and season ranking for the coming seasons, as long as you guys enjoy these as well. And yeah. That's it. I'll see y'all next week where we are taking a look at Ren's Toothache. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, folks.